the vision and mission and objective of His Excellency Eminence Dr. Sheikh Ismail Ben Qasim. All over from Malaysia, he is not alone to work. Uh, he is not alone. Not only the scholars and ulama of New Delhi and especially the Ahl Sunnah al Jama is with you with your vision and mission. We support you, whatever you are doing all across the globe. We support you at every moment, whatever the mission you have, especially on the humanitarian grounds, what you are doing to propagate the humanity. Uh, unity is very important in this today's uh, scenario, what we are living now. And uh, Warsha, the council especially, actually uniting the people with the elmo of Sharia, with the elmo of Rasulullah So, now that we have listened to all the welcoming speech, now we move on to our main program. So, with that, I'd like to call upon none other than our historian Sheikh Dr. Ismail Hazi Qasim, the ambassador of Shahadam of World Shahada Council. His Excellency, Sheikh Dr. Ismail Haji Qasim, Global Peace Ambassador, Aham Ko Mukhaq Farmaydi, Aham Guzarish Kattehim. Alhamdulillahi ala kundi hali, Alhamdulillahi ala ni'amati akbar, wa ni'amati la Allah bin Allah ta'ala. Alhamdulillahi ala huratikum, min jama'i al-ulama'i wal-arif billah wal-awliya Allah. وشيوخ من طريق من الهند من البنغلاديش باكستان في كل العالمين في هذا الاجتماع الكبرى اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله واصحابه اجمعين Sayyid Jawid Ali Kachabali, Sayyid Mufti Ashfaq Hussain Kadri, to Alama Sufi Sayyid Jafar Siddiq Shah from Bangladesh, Raya Wander Silsila Grand Sheikh, which I attended in 2018, I believe, and it was a very wonderful Sufi gathering in Bangladesh. And Professor Ali Zuzaman, now Niels, but our World Chahara Council Ambassador to Bangladesh. Welcome to you, my dear brother. Amen. <coughs> Al Haj Adulkan, Dr. Muhammad Shah Jahan, and our World Chahara Council Ambassador to Calcutta and to China, none other than our brother, Sheikh 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 Ishaq Shah. Allahu Akbar. Alama Maulana Mufti Muhammad Adam and Hazrat Alama Maulana Khadja Ali Mashra and uh, importantly uh, our, our Sheikh, our peer, Ustaz Siraj Ahmad, World Shahada Council uh, Ambassador to Bangalore, Karnataka, Telangana State and also to United Kingdom, Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. I will not be able to stand here today and deliver you one of the most important amana of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's translate this. I don't have amana. Without my team from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Indonesia. So I call upon them to come to the stage for us to give an appreciation to the team. Tamam team. Tamam team, who Kuala Lumpur se aayi hai, pure khafle ko aap dawat de rahe hain. Please inviting all the uh, Malaysian team, please from please Kuala Lumpur. We have supported. The supported team. Please come forward, Malaysian for organizing. World Shadda Council today. We give them appreciation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all team. Line, line, line. 
तमाम से गुजारिश कर रहे हैं शेख इस्माइल बिन कासिम साहब तमाम से गुजारिश कर रहे हैं शेख इस्माइल बिन कासिम साहब बारिश
Jazakallahu Khairan Kasira to share Dr. Ahmad Arifuddin for his welcoming speech. So before we proceed to our next, I'd like to again welcome all of our distinguished scholars and delegates, our beloved brothers and sisters, to the 6th International Peace Conference. So this conference will not be able to be held but with a few donations and sponsorships, Alhamdulillah, we managed to have this sixth International Peace Conference in New Delhi. This wonderful conference is sponsored by World Shahada Council as the Platinum Sponsor, Global Peace Mission Movement as the Diamond Sponsor, and Pride International as the Gold Sponsor. Before we proceed with the main part of the conference, allow me to share some information about our conference goal sponsor. Pride International is the sole distributor of the best product of the century, utilizing the best of technology and advanced therapies. Pride International has set up 10 country branches, 24 country stockies, 24 USA state stocks, stockies within the next within the past 15 months. So now that we have listened to all the welcoming speech, now we move on to our main program. So with that, I'd like to call upon none other than our His Eminence Shem, Dr. Ismail Hazik Tasseb, the Ambassador of Shahada of World Shahada Council. His Excellency, Shem Dr. Ismail Hazik Tasseb, Global Peace Ambassador, Aham Ko Makatakarmaini, Kang Guzarish Kakehen, Dr. Sheikh Ismail Ajit Qasim Sahab, the Global Peace Ambassador of the World Shah Council. Al-Fatiha. Allahumma salli ala sayyidina wa rabina wa shakina wa khabibina wa rabina wa rabina wa rabina wa rabina. Salamun, salamun, kamish kiritam alaykum uhaiba banaya kiram Salamun, salamun, kamish kiritam Which I attended in 2000, 
18, I believe, and it was a very wonderful Sufi gathering in Bangladesh. And Professor Ali Zuzaman, none years but our whole China also ambassador to Bangladesh. Welcome to you, my dear brother. Amen. <coughs> Al Haj Advocate Dr. Muhammad Shah Jahan and our whole China Council ambassador to Calcutta and to China, none other than our brother Sheer uh, Ishaq Shen. Allah <laughs> Akbar. Alama Maulana Mufti Muhammad Alam and Hazrat Alama Maulana Fajr Ali Pasha. And uh, importantly, our, our chef, our peer, Ustaz Suraj Ahmad, World China Council uh, Ambassador to Bangalore, Karnataka, Telangana State, and also to the United Kingdom. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alami. I will not be able to stand here today and deliver you one of the most important amana of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Let's translate this. Mere ko taqat nahi. Abhi aaj ye amana Risala Karnikele, without my team from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Indonesia. So I call upon them to come to the stage for us to give an appreciation to my one. Tamam team jo Kuala Lumpur se aai hai, pure khakle ko aap dawat de rahe Please inviting all the uh, Malaysian team, please, from Kuala Lumpur. We have supported. The supported team Please come forward. for organizing World Shadow Council today. We give them appreciation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We all team. The Lamb Sheikh Guzarish Karan, Sheikh Ismail bin Qasim Sahab. All the Malaysian delegation. All the Malaysian delegation who have made this to be successful today. Malaysia. We appreciate them. We need to honor them. So may, may Allah honor them. May Allah bless us, all of us, to take what the barakah of what they have done. Allah so rahmat wa barakatuhum ki barishun karna din karna. Ya salam, ya salam, ya salam, ya salam, ya aman, ya salam, ya aman, ya salam, ya salam, ya salam. We have been successful in Asia, Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, London. Why should we come to India? It's for the people of, it's for the people of India. It's for you. It's for you because we have felt the sweetness of peace. Sweetness of peace, German ki mithas hai, wo sar zameen hindustan mein hai, isli hum bar bar hindustan mein aate hai, aur apne program se munakhid karte hai, hum bohot aur bhi mulkoh mein jate hai, lekin jo baat hindustan ki hai, wo hum ne kahi nahi dekhi. Allahu Akbar, Legion, everybody talk about peace. Swap baat karte hai, man ki. 
But do you get peace? I'm asking, do you get peace? Do you feel peace? Can you taste the peace? Can you enjoy the peace? Can you carry back the peace? Can you carry back the peace to your home, yeah, to your workplace, to the Uma? Yeah, just the Uma to open this up. So this is the first time in the history of India we are revealing. Tariqe Hindustan me pehli baar hai jo hum yahan aaye hain. We're bringing forth a new dimension of peace formula. It's called P five. P five world class formula है जो अमन को खाएं रखने के लिए उसको आगे बढ़ाने के लिए वो हम लेकर आज यहाँ हैं। What is this P five formula? ये P five formula क्या? You will never have heard it in your life. कभी आपने ज़िंदगी में सुना नहीं होगा। Is it so? Is it so? क्या ऐसा है कि आपने सुना नहीं है P five formula? So are you surprised? I'm telling you. I'm bringing you the best and the first class formula to know about peace, to taste peace, to eat peace. We wanted to launch this program in London 2019, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it a bit forward so that I can come to India and launch this program in India. दो हजार उन्नीस में हमने ऑलरेडी सरजमी लंदन पर ये प्रोग्राम को मुनाफिक करने का फैसला किया था लेकिन जो हालात पैंडेमिक के आगे इसके बाद वो नहीं कर पाए लेकिन अल्लाह को यही मंजूर था कि वो सरजमी लंदन नहीं सरजमी हिंदुस्तान और बिलखसूस नई दिल्ली में इसको मुनाफी Sri Lanka when the land of 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 the land the moment you open your eyes, before you open your tongue, before you do anything, there is one very important thing in life. Listen to this very carefully. This is not knowledge. What, 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 what I'm transferring to you is not knowledge. This is pure wisdom. Hikmah, hikmah, hikmah. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يُؤْتِنْ حِكْمَةَ مَنْ يَشَاءُ I only give wisdom to the people I choose. जो कुछ मैं आपको बताने जा रहा हूँ वो एल नहीं है बल्कि हिकमा है और हिकमा ही अहम है वही मैं बताने आज आपके सामने जा रहा हूँ. So much important is peace. Peace is so much important. बहुत अहम है अमन. अमन अमन बहुत है. Today we have no peace in our mind. हमारे ज़हनों में कोई अमन नहीं। We have no peace in our emotions। हमारे जो emotions हैं, जज्बात हैं, आप उसमें भी अमन नहीं। We have no peace in our thought। हमारी सोच में भी अमन नहीं। We have no peace in our heart। हमारे दिल में भी अमन नहीं। We have no peace in our surroundings। हमारे अपराध में भी अमन नहीं। We have no peace among us, between us। अभी हम जो बैठे हैं, उसमें भी हमारे आसपास में भी अमन नहीं। We have no peace in our thinking। हमारी सोच में भी नहीं। We have no peace in our remembrance। जो भी हम याद रखते हैं उसमें भी मन नहीं। I tell you we have zero peace। हम जो भी हैं वो बिल्कुल zero। But we think we have peace। We think we have peace। हम सोचते हैं कि हमारे पास मन है। This is absolutely lie। So झूठ है। This is absolutely illusion। बस एक खाम ख्याली है। This is absolutely a drama। we have peace. I'm asking you, we have peace. Dr. Kasim, always asking, you are saying peace, peace, peace. I was loving this word so much because to remain in peace is very rare in our life. 
very difficult is in family, in workplace, in many other places, in whatever it is. So, whatever I am saying that this particular word peace, it is related to Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. See, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu is the turning point of everything, all good deeds. He is the turning point of civilization, he is the turning point of beauty, peace, he is the turning point of love, he is the turning point of considering. See, we say a prophet quality, prophet quality. What is that quality? To love someone, to be considerate, to be loving, to be truthful. So these are all the kind, considerate, loving and truthful. This, if we say these four keywords, and these four keywords, four keywords makes a lot of things. You see, these four words make human rights. If there is a human rights, there must be democracy. If there is a democracy, there is a political stability. If there is a political stability, there is a communal harmony, interreligion, peace and harmony. If there is interreligion, peace and harmony, then people live in peace. If people live in peace, then they have all sort of rights they are enjoying. So, the peace particular of this world is relevant. It is so wide. And this world, this world invented. Of course, all the prophet, all the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with this beautiful mission has come. But you know, many of them has failed to do a lot of things, a lot of things. And they have to curse their own form. Look at Islam, he had to do that. Many other, many other prophets. But all prophets of Islam, you see, just a few days back, I was coming from Taif, where he has been brutally tortured. And he was paid for the Taif people. I was observing all greens, all fruits, everything. And the particular mosque, he was giving a grace by uh, uh, the Sahaba Salam, and who had been waiting for a long time there, that one prophet will come, he will do something for him. So I was, I've seen that the prophet, you see how tolerance, how loving, how considerate, how truthful, how beauty, is everything like with Prophet Salam. That's why he said, no Muslim is a true Muslim until and unless he loves Prophet Muhammad more than his family, more than his child, more than his own life. Because Prophet Muhammad is not that he did here. In the day of judgment, this is only Prophet Muhammad who will be in the society. He will be saying, until and unless my mother doesn't go to heaven, well, uh, I would like to go. So, we are so lucky, we are first we became Muslim. We are so lucky that we are the mother prophet Muhammad. We are so lucky that Allah made us human beings. You see, there is so many intelligent uh, creation in this world. A dog who can go two miles away by smelling clothes to find out the criminals. We never ever any human beings have this quality. An elephant can do and do anything to his own building, he can just say big thing, he can just take off. A wall will. He can take 200 and this whole hall's people's food he can take at night. And you see a cow, a cow, a horse, they can see in the night two miles away with deep darkness, which we cannot do. If I do not put my spirit because I cannot even my writings. So individually Allah has given so many capabilities, so many qualities, so many things to all other creation. But why we are on top of 18,000? Because can please anyone say you will feel happy. If you feel happy, peace will automatically come. And this is because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first when he created Prophet then Adam was saying mercy and he remembered he saw something in there. In the name of Prophet Sallallahu he was asking mercy from Allah and he was dead. So that's why I said that all the turning point in this world has started from Prophet Sallallahu If we do behave as a true Muslim, then a true Muslim's hand, a true Muslim pain, a true Muslim's tongue.
e tu não se mal, e tu não se guas, que não há nada. Deixa o que é só. E vai ter no teu grupo de paradas, e que eles há um bilhão de paradas. So this is the beauty of Muslim people. This is the beauty of all Sahaba. This was the beauty of Prophet Sarasa. So, you see, this global conference of peace, I do feel proud of to be part of this one. I do feel, again, thanks to Professor, our friend, Sheikh, Dr. Ismail Kasimi and his fellow associates from Malaysia, our friends from India, those who are hosting also here, our different friends from came from different parts, and in this hour, until uh, seven, eight, or nine hours, we became so close with each other. We became so friendly with each other. We have changed greetings. I said many of them, you come to Bangladesh, be my guest. And same way my Kashmir brother, my Hyderabad brother, my Karnatic brother, my other Indonesian brother, my Chinese brother, my Malaysian brother says, you come to me. This is what is beauty. This is, this is what is you felt peace in heart. When you feel emptiness, you feel my sister, Dr. Kadida, is in Malaysia. You feel my brother, Ken, is in China. You feel my friend, Dr. Rohit, is in Kashmir. So, this is called global peace. Peace cannot come individually. Peace has to come jointly. It's a teamwork. You see the meaning of team that together, <coughs> We achieve more. And in Shada, in Kalima, in Muslim Dawa, peace is like that. 